Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we've been looking at doing some new fighter concepts, basic fighter designs that incorporate the new oxygen requirement. So what we have here is we've got one fighter we've worked on that has a, well it's not exactly the fastest acceleration here, but that could be easily fixed with a mass block and a uh, catapult system from its launch bay. This is our Mark I interceptor. And the gist of this, of course, is that it's a very simple fighter that uses the uh, quad Gatling gun setup and a nose-mounted missile launcher. It is completely set up with both an oxygen tank and an oxygen generator. It even has the uh, space balls on the rear near the connectors here to help you bounce off and not actually damage your connector if you're coming in for a hard dock. And of course the camera system is set up to allow you to view that docking process. So this is just a uh, first mock-up of the design here. And over here we've went ahead and gutted it to show you the internal workings. As if you've noticed, we don't really have that many external thrusters showing. So, first of course, I forgot to cut this section away, is our small storage container for the ammunition for the guns is actually attached to the nose of the cockpit you'll see right here. There it attaches and as in our previous test we've seen that it will convey all the way through the conveyor system. So ammo will come in through the connector, go into the cockpit and into the uh, cargo container and then of course feed into the guns as needed. Now the missile launcher since it has to be manually reloaded there is no way to set it up to a conveyor is just under that and nothing but armor basically behind that. We have our Vertical axis thrusters are the only ones that are actually exposed, because that would require us, well, expanding the profile quite a bit. Uh, of course, the oxygen tank is here, and then the oxygen generator behind that, connected to the conveyor, or the uh, connector system here. And then, you'll see the battery over here is over our conveyor blocks, which actually connect to the uh, side hatches on the cockpit. And they map over here to our quad gatling setup which I think I might have had a little problem here. I think I overlooked a step. Yes, I messed that up, so let me go ahead and correct that. Well, actually, I'll do it on the uh, official model afterwards. All right, so we'll replace that with the conveyor set up there. We did uh, make some modifications to the design of the process. It appeared to have accidentally replaced that with armor instead of actual conveyors. So, we'll get that corrected. All right, so what we have here is our main thrusters in all four other directions are internalized using our thruster testings that show a three space limit and of course we have been testing this in flight to ensure that it does not damage further and so far it has not so what we have here is the back armor wall that comes over here and our primary thrusters have that three space limit right there and of course our reverse thrusters also have that three space limit that fits just between the uh, battery and the oxygen tank so even at uh, fairly high speeds of maneuvering, you will not have any side burn on the blocks as our testing has shown so far. Now it's only using two gyroscopes, but uh, with this design here, now granted we are using light armor, so you could replace this all with heavy armor and get a much more sturdy effect. But with this design here, you have a lot less risk of losing actual thrust control in different directions. Because, of course, most of our thrusters are internalized. And worst case scenario, if you do take damage, you will have either your primary forward thrusters or your primary reverse thrusters left, assuming you survive the fight, of course. And in that case, you'll be able to use that as a means to maneuver back to base. Now, uh, basically, the uh, gist of the design here is having the cockpit off to the side. Now, you might be wondering why that's an advantage versus having it where the actual dots will line up, which we'll go ahead and hop in here. As you can see, the dots are definitely not lined up with the uh, crosshair, so you've got to adjust for that. But the advantage for that is, of course, that when you are dealing with turrets, they always target the control systems first. So rather than have your guns get chewed up by the uh, strafing fire of Gatling turrets or um, missiles and whatnot, you'll still have those guns operable. And if you look over here on the opposite side, we did protrude the armor forward one layer, or one spacing forward, a two layer space rather, 
to uh, give Pure sort of an armor shield to help shield those guns from any crossfire coming off of the left hand side. So uh, that's the general gist of this design here. And of course, as I said, it is the first mock up. We will work again on this later, see if we can improve it at all. And, uh, well, hope that gives you guys some ideas for making your own fighters. I'll get this uploaded in the workshop later so we can get you to play around with it. And, of course, as always, have a good day.